Kobe. Real shit. Ain't this actually watch this? Ain't this actually? Yeah, it was alright. Good afternoon, it's Jess with a mess, and my news is real. Kodak Black had a choice between a year in jail or a life coach class for a month. A year in jail or a life coach? Okay, that's phony as shit. Definitely fake as fuck. <laughs> right? Boo, we wanna say I'm an I've been attached, <laughs> Sorry. In other news, another celebrity home burglary. ASAP Rocky's LA home was burglarized by armed robbers. Ah. Why is it so easy to get in these people's homes? <laughs> Where are the celebrity security systems? <laughs> and then out of all the celebrities that live in LA, you break in ASAP Rocky's home. <laughs> He's definitely a celebrity. Who asked you? Oh, I. Bill Cosby's daughter went viral as she rants about how her father has been publicly lynched. She argues that he's a good person and how he didn't have bad intentions. Uh, okay. Boo, he already admitted it. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Learn something from this, old man. Okay, so I ain't do this in a while. And not because I've been trying to turn over a new leaf just because I've been actually busy doing shit. But this bitch just tried to come for my hair. Now, I don't know this bitch, and this bitch don't know me. Because if she did know me, she'd know better. But she says, you always coming for everybody, but your wig's always crooked. Now, of course, you know I had to check. I looked in the mirror and made sure my pop was in the middle before I made this video. But I go to her page and her shit open. So you know I'm ready to go in. Bitch, you coming for me with a transparent hairline. Girl, your hair just like a phony bitch. I can see straight through it. Bitch, your hair so fucking thin I can count the strands on your head. Then you got a couple hairdos on your page. Ain't none of that shit cute. You need to get like me, bitch. I know my hair thin, so my wigs start before my hairline. This is what your shit look like. This is how you walk around. You sit them thick-ass closures behind that thin-ass leave-out. Then you got feet and cornrows looking like you need to feed your fucking hair first. It's thirsty. It's hungry. Your braids look glued on. So somebody must have heard I was going to be on Wild and Out. And somebody must have been scared I was going to take that spot. Corey Holcomb. Nick been saving you for years, bro. Nick can't save you from me, baby. Boy, if you don't get your fat out of work, I wish I was still funny, zealous, comedian, old joke, retired. Baby Shaquille O'Neal looking ass the fuck up out of here, boy. Looking like you swallowed your fucking career. Nigga, you never made the fucking cut. The only day of the year you get to be a real comedian is on Halloween when you dress up as Cedric the Entertainer, boy. How the fuck you still on Wildin' Out as an intern? Getting your hours for volunteer work. I'd rather get in the studio with Nick Cannon than to have you on my lineup, nigga. You had so much to say about my picture with my son after you beat off to it. Soon as you put that fucking burger down and log back in, get at me. Good morning, it's Jess with a mess. There's a video on the web with Baby Future dancing to his father's song, Mask Off. Really? <laughs> Pick a set. Molly Perkins said, Daddy. At least he's teaching his kids about drugs early <laughs> so they can say no, right? <laughs> or yeah. <laughs> Someone said maybe he was with Russell Wilson. No, Russell would be reading him a book to help his future. <laughs> Boo, my stepdad's a nerd. Sorry. Brandy's new boyfriend. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Looks like Malcolm X's son. Boo, he shaves his legs. Don't trust him. Oh, he's all ready for romper season. <laughs> I mean shit after 30 years of heartbreak music. I'll leave Brandy alone if she likes it, we love it. I mean after 30 years of heartbreak music, at least she's found love. I mean, <laughs> the boy is our I think both times she's got a man. <laughs> so sorry. Adrian Broner finally makes it to jail. I mean he was dying to get there. <laughs> Broner will serve three days. Please give him his gangster card. Will somebody get mad at me and say shit like Bitch, you better not ever show your face in my city. I'ma slap the shit out you. Bitch, soon as I see you, I'ma walk up to you and slap you. <laughs> bitch. Well, bitch, I fight bad. So what you should say is, um, bitch, we're gonna fight when I see you. Cause I'm not really one of the motherfuckers that's just gonna let you slap them. In fact, I don't know too many motherfuckers like that these days. And when I come to other cities, you should know that I know better than to just come with my hands. Okay? So just know, before I tell Jess I'm just going to slap her ass, I may need to consider the fact that she might fight back. And if I'm lucky, maybe that day, I won't get stabbed. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> man, I missed Aj. I missed y'all, man. Bitch, 
So y'all knew this was coming. Let me tell you something about my last video. Y'all should know by now, I do what I want to do at all times. Yes, that was a real daycare. I know and love every one of them kids in there, just like I know every one of their parents and their parents know me. Just like they know if their kids are crying for nothing while I'm around, they gonna have to do the push-ups. For the old ass lady in my comments, talking about they should call the police on me. Bitch, mind your business. Your name is Doris Gilliam. You sound like a fucking civil rights leader. You're 85 wearing a Snapchat filter in your profile picture. You're pushing 100 and you still need to grow up. You went to school at Rosa Parks. IG is not for you. You should be home making somebody a sweater, not worrying about what the fuck I'm doing. And damn sure not still taking selfies like this. History textbook face ass. Then we got a fat nigga talking shit with a profile full of pictures of him laying down. Or if you don't get your I woke up just to go back to sleep. I just ate, but I could eat again. You short wide ass. You built like a deep freezer, bitch. Hey y'all, I had to bring the bonnet back on these bitches. So what about one of those instances where you catch a man fucking with another bitch? You make sure you get him, but then you go for her. First thing she says, if you was doing your job, maybe he wouldn't be talking to me. So don't check me, check your man. Bitch, you just became slappable because you know about the girlfriend. Now I know what they say. Yeah, don't ever go after the woman. Always go after the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go after him. But after that, I'm coming for you. Especially if you knew. And more than likely, a bitch knows when a nigga got a girl. But that's protocol. Because in this case, it ain't fighting over a man. You're just blatantly disrespecting another woman. Period. Because, bitch, if you had a boyfriend and your boyfriend tried to get with me and I knew that he had a girlfriend but still decided to fuck with him, you would want to slap me too, right? Right. If you bold enough to fuck with a nigga who has a girlfriend, be bold enough to get beat the fuck up by his girlfriend. Good morning, it's Jess with the mess. Despite the delay, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors on another ring. I guess all that nutsack kicking paid off. <laughs> Draymond Green. <laughs> so sorry. Turns out that the happiest person that night was Kevin Durant's mom. She was fucking everywhere. <laughs> Boo, you're embarrassing him. Tiger Woods reportedly told the police that he was on Xanax the night of his DUI arrest. Okay. You're not 100% white. <laughs> Some things you just don't say. <laughs> he must have thought because he's almost white, he would get away with it. Still a little too tan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gabori or Gabori Sadib or Sadibe formerly known as Precious, makes it clear that she does not want compliments on her weight loss. Bitch, bye. Congratulations, <laughs> okay? You lost a whole person. I'm so sorry. Shade Room posted a question. What is the most perfect sugar daddy relationship? Ask Cassie about Diddy. <laughs> Damn it. Yo, let me tell you what's crazy, right? I go to a fucking corner store in the hood, right? To get these. Bitch talking about, I need to see your ID before I can give it to you. Bitch, I look old as shit. What the fuck is you talking about? Did I sound like a grown-ass man? You don't believe I'm over 18? I look like I got an 18-year-old, bitch. What is wrong with you? Niggas don't even believe it. I'm 25. Niggas be like, I thought she was 30. That shit made me so mad. Why is niggas still getting carded in 2017? Bitch, I look older than you behind the register. Then your store is in the hood. Niggas in the hood not walking around with their IDs. Everybody in the hood done lost their ID. What is you talking about? You want to see my ID? When the last time you seen an ID, miss? Like your store is inside of a row house connected to other hood ass row houses. So technically you're not even a real store. Like you being stingy. Like you don't even want to give it to me. So I just took my ass somewhere else. Well, you know they say Tyler Perry's gay. <laughs> oh, shit. Good morning, it's Jess with the mess. Sorry, Karuchi is reportedly ready to testify against Chris Brown in court. Boo, go away, let him stalk you. She's doing too much. I guess, girl power, sorry. Somebody made the mistake of coming at Cardi B telling her J-Lo is really the queen of the Bronx. So chill out, ma. Cardi B responded, calling J-Lo the queen dick eater. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh, shit. I like that. So sorry. Team J-Lo. Queen dick eater. <laughs> sorry. A deputy was fired for waving his gun in the air and reporting Denzel Washington lines from movie training day. What? Boo. It was just the movie. Everyone hates real cops. Boo. Chris Rock admits how he cheated on his ex-wife with Kerry Washington. Wow, he's doing anything to promote a stand-up special. <laughs> Man, they back out this bitch early again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they about to fight. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit, I don't know who to pay attention to. 
Oh shit. This girl said, you's a bitch because you try to fight a little boy. Man, if that little boy was running his mouth, he got to get his head cracked. Man, they get sit in before school around this bitch. My man said, man, I beat your ass before school because I got homework at the school. Another little nigga come outside running his mouth. Girl said, boy, why the fuck you coming out running your mouth? You ain't do nothing when your brother was getting beat the fuck up. Man said, look, man, I was eating my food, man. I was eating. She said, you could have heated that breakfast up. He was like, no, nah, bitch, it's Surrey. When I don't like soggy cereal. <laughs> Hey, Devon says, your brother getting fucked up. Tell a little nigga fight back. I'm coming.